This is the grade three math practice test for T and ready. Question number 25, at least on this version it is. Ms. Carmen's art class is making a banner in the shape of a rectangle. So that's important. I'm going to make a note of that, that there's a rectangle. The perimeter of the banner is 30 feet. So in the yellow highlighter and in the green highlighter, there are a couple things that we need to talk about. The first is the rectangle business. In this question, there are certain aspects or certain pieces to a rectangle that we have to understand. The first is that it has four sides, and you can see that they've drawn the picture. That's nice of them. The other thing that you need to know is that what are called opposite sides are equal in a rectangle. So they're the same length, which means to, if the lines go the same direction, If the sides are the same direction, they're the same length. And that's in a rectangle. So that means if this side that goes from here to here is 9, this side that also goes in the same direction is also 9. And this, the one that goes up and down, this thingy, is question mark length. We don't know that yet. This side is also question mark length. So that's important for us to know we needed to have that down. The other thing that we need to talk about is perimeter. Now you have perimeter here. What does perimeter mean? Well, perimeter means the distance all the way around. Maybe in a movie you've heard someone say, check the perimeter. What it means is walk all the way around this building or structure or whatever uh, to make sure nobody else is there. In math, when we say perimeter, we mean, yeah, go all the way around, but also figure out how far you go in the total walk that you do. So that means to go from here to here to here to here to here equals 30. So I'm going to write this out in a way that I can see it. 9 plus, and instead of doing a question mark, I'm just going to leave a blank space because we need to figure out what that is, plus 9. So what I've done is I started up here. X marks a spot, and then I walked all the way down here, that's that 9. Then I walk this way, it's a question mark. Then I walk this way, it's 9. And then to get back up, there's another question mark there. And that should equal 30. This is a calculator allowed section. You may already know what to do here, or you may not. I don't know. So let's try some things and see if we can get to um, what we need to substitute in here. Can you add the nines together to make this problem shorter? Absolutely, you can do that. You could make this, uh, I know that 9 plus 9 is 18, so I might do that. Or I might not. It just kind of depends on where you want to go with it. It's still mathematically A-OK -okay to do that. But instead, what I'm going to do is look at my answers and see if I can sort of get a feel for what might belong there. So let's just try some numbers. One of the choices here is 6. So 9 plus 6 plus 9 plus 6 equals 30. So there it is. There's your answer. It's the smallest one. Why did I choose the smallest one? Because 9 and 9 is a lot. So it got me, I thought that if I went to 12 or 18, it might be too much, and 21 definitely looked like it was too much because there's two of them. So the answer to this question is D. So make a, write a D there, and when you carry it over to your answer form, it'll look a little bit nicer for you. You might pick 12 because you forget to make the two lines. That could be a problem. So make sure that when you draw it out, you draw it all the way out. Do I think that you will write this down on your paper? You will if you're smart, because... Trying to do it all in the calculator and just hoping for the best is not a good strategy here. It's so easy to write this out like this. There's no reason why you wouldn't do it other than you just don't feel like it. And that's not really how you want to go about living your life. Don't set the bar so low. Um, another thing you might have done is say, okay, I want to start with 30. And I want to start knocking off information that I'm aware of. I know that I'm going to take 9 away there. That's 21. 
my, that's where that 21 comes from, by the way, because it's the only number that they give you in the problem. So they thought that, well, if you just see a 30 and then you just see a 9, you'll just subtract the two numbers and you'll pick it, right? That's the answer that people pick that don't read the question or don't take their time. And that's, again, it's not enough. You have to give it a bit more. You deserve to do better than that. So now that we're at 21, I know that this is also 9, so drawing the little numbers up here is a big help. So I'm going to subtract 9 from this one. And if I do that, I end up with 12. And now I need to get rid of the same thing twice, so two question marks. So maybe I'll do minus something and then minus something else, and that will get me down to 0. That's the ultimate goal, right? So I have to think, what can I take away from 12 twice? So really, I just take 12 and break it into two parts. You know your division. So 6. So you could do that. If you want to be super algebra person, because that's something, I'm going to actually treat these pieces here, these question marks, as... Um, as you move up, you'll use them as variables, so I can actually make them into a letter. So if this is a high school class, I might say 2x plus, and then I would combine the 9 and the 9 to add together, so 18, equals 30, and then solve. That's what it looks like at the high school or middle school, at least, level for you to solve this question. But you can also get that same information just filling in the blanks. To me, at your level, this makes a lot more sense, and it's really not that complicated to write that much out. This is much more complicated. Don't feel bad if you don't understand this yet. As long as you can do this, you can still get the answer. Math isn't really, doesn't really judge you based on how you get there as long as you get to the right place and you can repeat it over and over again. And this is definitely a repeatable thing that you can use right now. So the answer to number 25 is D.